Born and bred in Bristol and inspired by the Nash Urban Banks films, it was about time we had a mission of our own. With a van loaded and spirits high, we set off towards the busy city centre. Hugh is absolutely buzzing. Yeah, yeah, something a bit different. Be interesting on a Friday night down in the heart of the city, but uh, yeah, fingers crossed. We'll have a few fish and no problems. So anyway, we're uh, catch up when we're uh, having a walk around, I guess, and um, yeah, show you uh, show you what we're up to. in the Concrete Jungle Volume 1, this is The Wrecking. En route we stopped off at a couple of park lakes. Due to it being a Friday afternoon and summer holidays, the parks were bursting with life. If there's a chance of a bite then we'll always give it a go. It didn't look great and a quick walk around we could see it was too busy. How you go mate? No? Are you ready? <laughs> it's awesome, it? They've been cruising very much. Off. Yeah. Yeah, it's always a problem, isn't it? Yeah. I've had it walk on there. Yeah. A little news ring. Have a good one, mate. Yeah, right. The second venue looked better, and after a joint effort positioning a piece of bread on a carp's head, it looked good. Sadly though, it didn't happen. Without wasting time, we jumped back in a van and drove further into the sea. <laughs> He's getting on it. Friday night vibes. The best bit of urban carping, traffic. Oh, hello, what's that? It's the waterfront. Well, that looks carpy down there. Oh, hello, there's a fish. Fish just rolled down, somewhat small. Now that is carpy. That is very carpy. It used to be like a new fishing sign somewhere, I think. I can't see one. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, look at that bike. Oh. That's fucking lovely. Because that's all you have to do, isn't it? It's just fish on it and under your feet along here. Come on, that What I said to you, it's not a very big gap. Get on it, man, get involved. What? 
have no idea, mate. It's just as good in there needs, mate. I won't leave that one. Going up there on the mud dock, and we have got some rods down. Hello, you still getting sorted out? Oh, that's a bite, that one. So, we're down the docks and the rods are out. Um, yeah, we're um, really buzzing as you can probably tell. <laughs> We've been wanting to get down there for um, so long and have a go. And um, we're finally doing it. Um, it's only a bit of a recce really, but um, hopefully something happens. Um, so we started the day off, um, went to a couple of park lakes. Unfortunately, it's a Friday, it's rammed everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a bit of a, a, bit of a fail. Bit of a fail. Honest. Yeah, let's yeah. be honest, yeah. But, um, Still, it was um, it was nice to have a go and have a little walk around in a few different places. Um, we sacked that off anyway, come straight down into the centre of Bristol, and um, yeah, we've had a good walk around. Um, fortunately, some of the spots we were looking at getting in really busy. Um, too many people around. We were worried about the rods and that getting damaged. You know, someone getting a hook stuck in them, it's that sort of thing. So we kind of sat those off, and um, we've ended up in probably what a lot of you probably know um, from sort of Nash videos and stuff like that. To be honest, is the mud dock. Um, it's a good area, fish get caught from here, and um, hopefully we're going to have one ourselves. Yeah, we? it's pretty lively still, and uh, like you say, it's been a manic walk around. It's probably near midnight now, and uh, we've only just got the rods out. But yeah, yeah. We, we flicked a couple down the margins, uh, a couple of, a few of the canal boats, whacked in a load of the 18 uh, mil switch, coat in a load of the fish hydros, a yeah. proper stinky mix, just trying to avoid those bream with the bigger baits. But uh, yeah, a few Ronnies, fingers crossed for the night, innit, you know? I'm, I'm buzzing a beer, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like you say, it's a recce. If we, if we get a bite, you know, actually with a complete result without any sort of pre-baiting or anything. But, exactly, um, yeah. Yeah. It's a bit, like we said, it's a bit of a recce. We've just dropped in, you know, we had a bit of time to sort of do a night, so we've come down there and we're giving it a go. So yeah. hopefully, hopefully it happens, innit, mate? Yeah, it's all we're so, doing, innit? A bit of a try, innit? And um, a bit of a trial and error. Just see if it goes, I suppose. It's so, um, absolutely me, I mean, I yeah. know. Like, Hold um, on a minute. Have you got some? Uh, yeah, the rank. 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 <laughs> You serious? What is it? It's a friggin' bream. A bream? <laughs> okay, so uh, the 18 mil uh, bottom baits might not be quite enough. Sean's hooked into a bream. <laughs> right, fingers crossed for the night. Hopefully we'll see you with a carp.
over there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it is um it is an odd feeling laying next to your rods in the middle of the city. There's a there's mine just there. And there's Hughes. morning um well we've uh, just had a bit of a pickup and um resulted in a bream so um awesome so uh yeah i've just uh i not that slipped that back um he's had a bit of a pickup on one of his as well um one of his rods sort of hopped over and um not quite sure what's happened but um there's nothing on the end um so a little bit of fish related activity, but um, fortunately uh, it wasn't a carp. But uh, anyway, I've redone the rod, put it back out, fresh up bait, another lead, as the bream uh, did dump the lead. And um, get back in the bag I think for a bit. Hugh is uh, down there. But um, anyway, stick the uh, camera back in the van and uh, get back in the bag for a little bit I think. See the woman like at the front, just like oh no. <laughs> so you join us on the morning um, of the Bristol Dog Session. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Good morning. You would have just seen me just try to do an update, and uh, I got a bit excited. Left hand rod, the rod tops absolutely banged over, and um, I thought I was in. Um, to be fair. Um, it was a new PB, but not the intended species. It was probably a 120, 125 pound uh, female paddle border. So um, yeah, that was an, an event. And that was swiftly followed by about eight others, which decided to kind of go for all the lines and we had to redo everything. So that was a little bit of a disaster, but um, you know, nice to get another bite after having that bream earlier. <laughs> so. Yeah, to be fair, the harp is coming alive now. Um, there has been paddle board all over the place uh, mm. and all the boats are now, all the ferries to our right are all sort of obviously getting ready for trade, turning around, moving off. So um, yeah, kind of like some spots are sort of unfishable now really without the danger of getting uh, attached to a boat. You had a bit of an occurrence on one of yours, didn't you? Yeah. It might have been sort of an aborted tape. I'm not sure possibly. why it was. It, yeah. was, it was odd, kind of sort of, it sort of like pulled over, didn't it, the rod top? Yeah, the rod top was knocking over and um, it took a bit of line, but yeah, struck into absolutely nothing. So, you know, the angle we're fishing, it's strange to get a savage line like that, really. So, whether it's a water tit, I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, some sort of activity at least. But, yeah, I guess going through this morning, thinking about popping back to one of the park lakes. Um, in reality, I think bike time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I think bike time in reality is um, probably early morning on air, I would imagine. Yeah, that's what I think. And um, so, 
think probably best off for having to go on one of these little park lakes we had to go yesterday. They don't look the greatest to be honest, but you never know, we might be able to nab an urban bite and uh, put a fish in the blog. So I guess stay tuned and um, yeah, we'll catch up with you in a bit. Yeah, Emily, not worth it. With the sun now high in the sky and the docks bursting with life, it just didn't look like a bite was going to happen. We decided to reel in the rods, load up the vans and get on the road. Our plan was to head to one of the park lakes from the day before and see if we could find some fish cruising around on the top and hopefully get them going on some mixers. After feeding a few mixers for about half an hour we finally managed to get the fish confident and they started taking them quite readily. I cast a rod out and not long later, one of them absolutely nailed the hook bait and I was into an absolute urban banger. It wasn't a big fish, but it was finally an urban car hitting that spreader block. I just went in at the little urban lake. Some little um, mixer. Beautiful little comment. Sadly, the session had to come to an end, and we only had the one small comment to show for our efforts, but we really enjoyed exploring the Bristol docks, and obviously, we're going to be back again soon. Quick session success. Through the summer of 2019, we've been targeting some urban lakes, enjoying some really exciting fishing. Of course, we've been taking the cameras along for the ride. So sometime in the new year, we'll be releasing a campaign video documenting our urban adventures on these venues. There we go down, quick little session up Park Lake. We'd like to thank everyone for supporting the channel. We love making these videos and we hope that you continue to watch them. 20 minutes, seen a bubbler. Dropped on his head and we got this over here. Spirited little common. We've got some big plans for 2020. We have been discussing a full campaign on the Bristol Docks, along with plenty of new day ticket venues across the country, and hopefully plenty more chunks from our syndicates. So hit that subscribe button and don't miss out. All the best for the new year, be lucky, and we'll see you again soon.